Why I will say so that many? once you buy one nice car, I've been you on want that. A second one. Or I understand that. What are you gonna get? I don't know, but no, I'm not gonna buy another one. You but a excited. Pickup truck, son. I'm excited for my lease to run out so I can get a new. It. Yeah, yeah, switch it up. How about a Raptor. Uncle I, Shane. I, I, I'm too, Strikes me as an SUV, SUV not, guy for I'm sure. Not, a I, Raptor? You ever drive one? Yeah, but Get I look, yourself a this Raptor is what I look R. like. I can't have a Raptor. How about a TRX? You can't play Xbox all day and then get in a Raptor. Yes, yeah, you, can. you can, dude. Dude, uh, gamer chairs. Could. Customized gamer, chair gamer chairs in, in the car. <laughs> <Raptor>. <laughs> get a TRX. Come we'll on, see. Bro. What's a TRX? It's a Ram that has 700 horsepower. Oh, those things are from the wild, factory. Man. Those things yeah. are kind of nuts. I'll show That's you one. I have one here. Do you really? Yeah, I'll show you. It's pretty awesome. I have a Hennessy <laughs> one that has 1,000 horsepower. What? Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's America. That is pretty sick. Remember we were in those fucking Tesla? I don't. America. America's Fuck obviously yeah. the best. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah I remember being that thing. Yeah, driving rules. around that Nazi mobile. You need, you need a goddamn <laughs> America car. That's it right there. Look at that Fuck. TRX. How's America cars? Are they like, are we good at making cars now? That, I heard thing's, bad. that thing's the shit. I love that thing. I love that. I drive that all the time. I love it. A pickup would be nice, actually. They're great. <clears throat> pickup They're trucks comfortable. get wildly expensive. Speaking of Nazi mobiles, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went and saw a Nazi movie by myself. What? Really? Last Which one? Saturday night. Uh, Zone of Interest? What is that? I don't know. It's about Auschwitz. It's. it's oh, like, I heard uh, this is awesome. It's all right. Where they live next to Nothing the concentration happens. camp. It's just, it's just an ongoing, like you're uncomfortable the whole time. But I did go see it by myself, mm. which is a weird, because like the movie people, I saw it at a draft house, so you have like a waiter. Mm. And the whole time they're like, are you, sh <laughs> like, Shane, hey, what's going on? Oh, I was like, oh. yeah, I'm just here watching Nazis alone. <laughs> <laughs> Doing exactly what you thought I'd do on a Saturday night. <laughs> oh. Yeah, That's it's, on brand. It's very uncomfortable. You watching this movie by yourself is on brand. I yeah. I enjoyed it, but it's yeah, they're right next to a concentration camp. Yeah, they're at wow. Auschwitz. They're he's the oh, and they're living good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, wow. Nothing happens though. It's just unsettling for Whoa, two look hours. At that fucking, it's a cool idea. Look at the building they're in. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling you deserve the best in life. The yeah. wildest thing that most people don't know about the Nazis is how many we brought over here. Yeah. Operation Paperclip. Yeah, get them in here. Isn't Venezuela or one of those countries? They have a oh, ton yeah. of Argentina, Argentina. Argentina. Ar yeah, yeah. They have countries in Argentina or par cities in Argentina where everybody's white. Everybody speaks yeah. German. Mm -hmm. I've yeah. talked, I've Argentina's entire soccer team is white dudes. That's fucking wild. <laughs> That's like, yo, bro, what do you got? I was talking there? to someone one time. I guess it is far enough south well, that you would be white, right? Maybe, but also, there's a lot of Nazis went to Argentina. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, uh, Tim Kennedy had that TV show, Finding Hitler, where they, there, was the, there was this conspiracy theory that Hitler moved to Argentina. What really? is this, Jamie? Oh, they were... Uh, How they escaped? The rat lines were systems of escape routes for German Nazis and other fascists fleeing Europe from 1945 onward in the aftermath of World War II. These escape routes may, mainly, mainly led towards havens in Latin America, particularly Argentina, but also Paraguay and Colombia, Brazil, Uruguay, Mexico, Chile, Peru, Guatemala, Ecuador, and Bolivia, as well as the United States, Canada, Australia, Spain, and Switzerland. But a lot of them in Argentina. And the Catholic yeah. Church helped them. Yeah, they had Damn. this whole thing about it. Um, where they you know, went to these towns. <laughs> They're wearing it's lederhosen. <laughs> Starting in 1947, some U.S. What does it say? The rat lines were supported by clergy of the Catholic Church, starting in 1947. Some Citation U.S. Citation page needed. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a humanitarian. Told you. They loved it everybody. It actually is humanitarian. They loved everybody. I love. Starting in 1947, <laughs> some U.S. intelligence officers utilized existing rat lines to move certain Nazi strategists and scientists. Yeah, like Werner von Braun, the head of Nazi, the head of NASA. Yeah. Full on Nazi. Good. <laughs> Not that he's a Nazi. Well, <laughs> saying, bring, don't hang him. I know what you're saying. Let's get our fucking, let's figure out space juice exploration. Juice the lemon. Get a juice the lemon. And then he'll die. Juice the lemon. Well, they also were competing because a bunch of them went to Russia as well. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. see. So Russia had some scientists. We had some yeah, other they ones. They can't have all the good Nazis. <laughs> Not we one need of the some ones that make Nazis. missiles. <laughs> yeah, you, gotta, you can look past a few things if you need to get a missile quicker. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, you have to. Well, you literally have to. If these are the only guys that are making rockets. God damn. Can you imagine if they got the bomb first? The U.S. The Soviets got it. It'd be rough. It'd and be negative. We would have It'd invaded be a Mexico, experience. and yeah. the Soviet Union would be funding us right now. You know or funding whole, like, Mexico. They made UFOs. And oh stuff. yeah, yeah. They made flying saucers. Yeah. See, this is the type of shit I don't. Uh, 
all the stuff. It's like, bro, they were struggling. Well, they also had, they also had a deep <laughs> connection to the occult. They, I know, but it's a lot like of weird occult shit. Yeah, yeah. The, the Nazis. Yeah, because they were gonna kill themselves. That well, was a I, suicide. I think there was also a lot of like evil sentiment. Like they were they were trying to win, you know, and they were trying to. There, there's a lot of weird shit. Like I don't want to. I don't, I don't really know much about the Nazi occult thing, but I know it's like very well documented. They're yeah. heavily into the occult. It also, yeah. to me, it seems a little. I don't know. It's like we're, we attribute the most evil shit ever to them. I think they were just a really, really shitty country that was fucking everything up. Like I don't know. I don't think we need to add like they were Satanists. Well, they were definitely into occult. occult. But, I mean, there's other countries that did horrible shit, too. Just what the Japanese did to the Chinese and the rape of Nanking. Yeah. You read about some of that stuff? Yeah. Like, dude. Yeah, I think it's just surprising to hear, like, they were doing what? Horrific yeah. shit. Yeah. And the science experiments they would do. They'd give people blood transfusions from various animals, and they would cut off limbs and reattach them. They did yeah, a they lot. Yeah, they were trying to figure it out. They were trying to figure it out. They were trying to figure it out. No, there's a lot of like scientific and medical innovation that came out of that, unfortunately. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, what, uh, what medical innovation came out of the Nazi experiments? I think they like learned some things, unfortunately. Fucking, yeah, really... what's it, Simons? What's the company, Bayern? Bayer? Bayer? Uh, Bayer's uh, out oh, there. Yeah. Bear did it, yeah. That's Bear right. was getting rowdy. Yeah, what? They, yeah. They 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 tried some <laughs> medication out on like 150 people. Wasn't it like something like that? And they all died. Joseph Mengele was the guy. Mengele was yeah. Doing he did a lot time. of like, he was like science experiments. He loved twins. Oh god, twins. <laughs> what, he like he twin experiments. Twins. Yeah, he'd be like, if I fucking cut this twin's head off, how are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, sad. Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. Well, dude, they didn't even know about germs. That was the there was the one guy who like blew the whistle on. I forget the guy's name. They have a Not, They were Germans, there. of course they did. <laughs> germs. <laughs> no, yeah, the Nazis they... knew about germs, but the guy who like discovered them, there was a hospital attached to where they delivered. Uh, they were like a morgue, and then they had where they're delivering babies. So they would like put down a dead body and then just catch a baby out of a woman's vagina and like Ooh. women were all dying and he was telling the doctors like you guys got to wash there's something on those dead bodies that's getting into women's like vaginas and they're all like dude we're doctors our hands are clean we're <laughs> gentlemen and then they the guy like eventually like went nuts and then like a few years later like oh fuck he was right because <laughs> he was washing his hands and the mortality rate went down like, yeah who was that fuck i forget his name that was way before world war ii though. way 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 before not well, in World War One, Fritz Haber figured out how to make gas, to kill people with gas. And he's the same guy who figured out how to pull nitrogen out of the air. What? So at the same time, this guy is being wanted for war crimes. At the same time, he's being nominated for the Nobel Prize.